and I have the great pleasure in the next 25 minutes to chat with my all-time favorite comedian, Mark Lottering, and he's in studio with me. Mark! Your 25 minutes. My nerves. That's long on radio. <laughs> and we're on live on camera as oh, well. Okay, okay. So pull there, we go, the there we go. There we go. Pull, pull in. <laughs> um, so, Mark, you are back at the Baxter. You started two days ago, and you're going to be here until 6 January, a liquor Christmas show. Tell us more. Firstly, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm just annoyed because I think that my one neighbor has an Airbnb. Ooh. And now I'm on an anti-Airbnb mission. And parties, Because eh? people who are listening, please, if you have Airbnb, try and stay in your property for a week. Just so you know what you are doing to us when you put other hooligans in there. But otherwise, I'm a happy person. Yes. No, yes. Mark, I know it sounds like first world problems, but I also live in a block of apartments. And the party is happening. And I'm no, like, man. am I that neighbor? But I'm like, no, I want to sleep. I just spoke to one of your colleagues outside now and said, I can't believe that I've become this person. Because Jenny. I'm actually a fun person. Uh, yes. People want me around them. I'm actually amazing. Yeah. I'm a lot of fun. But, but when you work. Man, you know, come home. People don't know, you know, what's happening during the week. They treat us like it's a club. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'm a, I'm a bit upset. But I'm still happy. And I spread happiness at the Baxter. Mm. And when I walk onto stage, Absolutely. I just radiate love and happiness. Absolutely. It's all in the ticket price. So, you started two days ago. How's it been going? It's been going really, really well. It's be, it's very entertaining. You know, unfortunately, we um, still have load shedding. And that, of course, impacts upon the lives of all the artists who are performing. Mm. Because you've got to take that into account. Um, and there, there was a little hitch on the first night mm. in that because computers aren't reading load shedding and what's happening. So midway through the show, when there was load shedding, one computer said to the other, this means there's a fire in the building, which means the fire curtain must now come down Ooh. midway through the show. Ooh. It perform and I'm hearing the audience yeah. gasp, but I thought that they're gasping at the amazement of my storytelling yes, skills. Of course. Meanwhile, they're trying to show me the curtains about to drop down on your head, and it's a heavy fire curtain, <gasps> and the curtain came down, which means uh, the show obviously had to stop until the alarms went off. And but this is what I love about South Africa mm. because we've been through so much. So although the computer was screaming at the whole building. There's a fire. Leave the building now. Go to your car. South Africans have just been through so much. Yes. They just sat there uh -huh. and they were like, well, <laughs> you know, I mean, if there's a fire, surely he will run. Yes. So we're just going to sit and wait. And they waited. Uh, I had the greatest audience. Very patient. They waited for eight minutes and mm -hmm. we continued with the show. So first night, very memorable. Uh -huh. Last night, we had an absolute jaw. And um, it's the last time that this show will be performed. Oh, so really? Capetonians who've not seen the show, it's my stand-up show. Um, it's not a musical. It's me um, on stage for 90 minutes. And we've been on a national tour with the show. People have been loving it. And I'm enjoying sharing the stories, especially where we are in the world yes. right now, where human beings are killing other human beings. And I can't believe that we are here and living through that. I think some people just feel they want to exhale for 60 to 90 minutes. Yes, yes. Um, and so we've been having it. And they must come and exhale with me because I want to retail one of my bathrooms. Uh -huh. And it's very expensive. Very um, I can because, uh, to you, that. Yes, because we went out. And suddenly I went and looked at tiles and I met all these butch people, you know. And uh -huh. there was like a rip, like yeah. Ryan the Rip was uh -uh. there. And I couldn't believe I said, you're Ryan, so much for a great tile. So um, so I need for people to come and watch the show so that I can retile the one bathroom. And then I can also be happy at home, even though there's an Airbnb okay. behind me. Mark, Shoo, we, Mark, how so did I, we get there? I am one of those <laughs> Cape Townians that have not seen you in years. I mean, maybe because I was in Joburg for three oh, years. Because you have COVID. a life. You have a life. No, no. I just haven't been to the theater much. So I must make a priority to come and Please see you, do. Mark. But Mark, so just tell us, I mean, on the tile issue, you know, there are South African tiles that are much cheaper. I hope Brian is telling there, you that. There are South African tiles that are much cheaper, but sometimes your only <laughs> refuge is the bathroom uh, so you want beauty. and you want to f when you when you're in the bathroom you actually want to know why you're working so hard people go. who are listening to us work very hard there must be one space in the house it's either the kitchen or the bathroom where you go that's why i take all that nonsense from that supervisor who actually has fewer skills than what i have but still that person's in charge of me why do i put myself through that i have a degree and everything but then you're in the bathroom and you go but there's the tile yes that ryan in being sold so to me and the color and speaks sense. to me it makes sense <laughs>
<laughs> so, Mark, I mean, for those, we're getting lots of fans to send us messages. Um, so, yeah, Mark, you're already getting Lydia saying good luck with the bathroom. Uh, and thank you, Lydia. Definitely coming Maybe you to have see a connection show. and you can organize. We love There's always someone in Cape Town who can organize. Because you know the tilers get a discount because my uncle is a tiler and he yeah, gets a discount. I firmly believe you because your, <laughs> your left hand went up and you pointed while you were speaking. So, I know you can get a discount. And even in the show, we talk about this word organized because you know when a south african but more than that when a cape tonian mm. tells you they can organize uh, or they got the connection for an inverter something. i got the connection my bro for solar panels i can organize and where they accentuate that z on the s on the on the end of that sentence you know it means organize means no receipts no invoices no paper trail and so many no of delivery us date. Uh, no delivery date so many of us have been the receiving end of something that's organized even the christians listen they know because someone at work came up to you and said I can organize uh -huh. crayfish my brew and even Christians like oh but look at God yeah. that's amazing <laughs> so the bucky comes to your house you don't make eye contact it's just cash yes. you don't even ask for the driver's name mm -hmm. don't look at him because you believe if you don't look at him then Jesus also didn't see and there's no record of it so we all Cape Townians understand something that's been organized there we go I'm in conversation with Mark Lottering <laughs> it is great fun if you have any questions or voice notes for Mark please Go ahead. So, Mark, just tell us a bit about, you know, the show. I mean, 90 yes. minutes, yo, that's a long time to keep people entertained. It is long. But it's but as I said, you know, you focus on the EFT. But it's supposed to be 80 minutes. Okay. Um, but, you know, we've just been having such a great time. So, um, you know, so we're now standing at 90 minutes with the show. And the show is called So I Wrote That Musical. Mm. Um, because over a period of five years, I've written three musicals. And they were very, very well received, but it's so different to the world of stand-up comedy. Because mm. as a comedian, now for more than 20 years, I'm accustomed to being alone backstage. It's a lonely life. Mm -hmm. Jake, take my for my suit, Janine. It's a lonely <laughs> life. And I'm not even in therapy because that's so expensive. But it's a lonely life. And so that's why I love the world of musicals, you know, because suddenly there are 20 people on stage with you and everybody's running around and you're all in this thing together. But like if a fire curtain comes down on your head, it's on you, it's on you if you're the only person. And I tell the audience every night when I open the show, when I first told my mother I'm going into stand-up comedy, she didn't like the idea because it's a lonely life. And my mother said to me, no, 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 please don't do it, Mark. I got a connection at clicks. <laughs> You know, you can work you up. You can work you up. Now, work you up in Cape Town means get a promotion. So, I didn't take the job at Clicks. I believe that I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing. But the this show is part of the show. There's a segment in the show where I talk about the difference between the worlds of being a stand-up comedian when you're alone and the difference of suddenly working with all these other people. It's a beautiful experience. So, that's just one segment of the show. And, of course, I needed a title for the show. Mm -hmm. And hence, so I wrote that musical, musical you know i tell people why i love the idea of a musical but we talk about so many other issues as well how could you not living in south africa there are things to talk about all of the time absolutely so we've been we've been having a great time and it's been it's been on a national tour as i told you and people have written wonderful things like people with matric who write reviews they've written wonderful things so you must believe them because they got matric and they've written nice things about the show oh, so i want go. people to come and share um in the laughter and in the joy and just to look at me as well because you know janine i'm 55 but i've been at gym and i just you look looked hot. I look, no, nah, I could you feel it when I walked in. There's uh. a tension between us, which is very healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and I could feel you didn't want to say it, but you were like, yo. So, uh, uh, we both looking liquor. <laughs> I mean, you are you sitting there with a the Mark Lottering here. I'm feeling like, you know, we should start a WhatsApp chat we group. We should, uh, Instagram. So, I've been at gym every morning. Yeah. And because my husband only eats healthy food, he eats like from the garden, you know. Uh. And the, So, I allow him on most days also to go into the kitchen. So, you're eating right. Um, you're living better. So, if people don't like stand-up comedy at least just come to the show just to like see look. how fabulous you look just 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 to to celebrate with me uh -huh. you know i'm not looking down on anybody else but <laughs> find inspiration from that and i'm now starting to believe people when they say no sexiness in life only actually starts 
after 50. And that's great because after, at that stage of your life, you don't need anything from anybody yeah, any anymore. Affirmation. Uh, you can pay for your own drinks. Yeah. The only thing, though, is I find now you're more mindful of what happens to your body after 50. Because, you know, you get to a stage of your life, and I think it starts in the late 60s, where people start saying eventually, oh, do you know what happened to Maureen? She fell. Uh, and, and, people say, <laughs> and, they say, and they always say, she was never the same never the since same. she fell. And the other day, I fell. I slipped and I fell oh, in Seapoint okay. Main Road. Ooh. And I and I bought pizza, I f and cool people were loving me. They stood on the other side uh. of the road. And they said, that's Uncle Mark. And I was like, I wear. And when cool people see you, you pull your boob uh. in and you suddenly want to look all sexy. Yeah. And I was like, I wear. Uh. And then I fell. But I fell hard, man, where there was no doubt that I fell. Yo, I got back to the car and I got up so quickly, but I could feel, I don't know what's happened to my body. I thought I just had my third stroke. The tears were there. You know uh, when tears just yeah, come? Like and blink. tears of embarrassment yeah. and pain. And I got into the car and I was in the car. I was had my heart for 25 years. Could see something was wrong. Uh -huh. And I just bought the pizza and he was like, oh my goodness me, what happened? And I said, I fell. My voice cracked as I said, I fell. Uh -huh. And he looked at me and he said, please tell me that you didn't drop the chili. <laughs> and I just thought, Hula -ha. I'm going to reassess <laughs> this whole thing about true love. Is there such a thing, Janine? 25 years. Is there years. such a thing? 25, 25 years, years in Jai Fra Vasi Chili. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, we all go through a bit different chapters of our lives. But I'm enjoying this chapter and I'm enjoying still being able to make people smile and feel good. Sounds amazing. So, of course, two messages. Damon is saying organize equates stolen. And then, of <laughs> okay. course, Mark is saying organize a ticket. But I have to share a joke, Mark. So now, you know, my name is not Janine. It is Crystal but we must have a special story yes. about Janine. Yes. Is it adult time for radio? But like, do she? Oh, oh well, our connection. Our connection. So, <laughs> I first got... Um, are you allowing me to go there? Well, uh, age restriction, 13. Of course, yes. <laughs> I first got... Um, you know, when everybody went crazy about DSTV, um, we didn't have that. But the reason I got it was because the first Big Brother um, was happening in South Africa. And... Um, and I was just so taken with this show, with this concept that we could watch people 24-7 in real time. And um, Crystal's relative was was on that show and she was, was making waves, also by the surname of Audison, Janine Audison. She's and still my aunt. She's still your aunt. She's still looking fabulous. She, of course she's looking fabulous. And um, and that's when I had to get it decoded because uh, this was a teacher in the first Big Brother house. And I think the concept of reality TV that people are actually watching us, it, it was a new concept. And people who've been on reality shows tell me you forget that the cameras are mm. there. And I think I saw that in that first Big Brother house because your auntie um, showed us exactly, you know, that, that you, one could be very creative with the cucumber. And that, for me, stands out. So when I see you, uh. Crystal... I know I've the, that the, the you know you're a journalist and your skills and uh, people talk, but I, I respect your journalistic yeah. skills. But still, the but first still. thing I think about when I see you, I think about the cucumber and that I've got to go oh, to the shop my, and get even cucumbers. Even Johannes is laughing. So, <laughs> so that will be my connection forever with Crystal and a day. forever and a day. Yeah. I'm going to see Audison yeah, and there we and are. Yeah, and there go. Mark, so tell me about like I mean you know just reflecting on. I didn't know that was your age and you look fabulous and as you said, yes. you're vibing. I mean, but what this, I mean, for me as well, I mean, I'm, a, I'm still doing journalism. I still love what I do. You still love what you do. What do you think it is? We have longevity. We have agility. What is it? Because people change careers. But they do and they I mean, must. 25 years later, I still love what I do. I've done other yes. stuff. I've traveled. and But I, I still go back to basic storytelling. I think you've got to, I'm excited when people say they've changed careers because that means they are bored or they're not happy with where they were at. And I think the important thing is to wake up every morning and still be excited about what you mm. do. So I've seen this in different spheres of life. You know, there's nothing worse than meeting someone who is just not having a liquor time at what they are doing and you can just feel it. You know, in their spirit, in their energy, you can see it in their eyes. So when you ask, how is it, for example, in my case, that I'm still doing what I'm doing. Well, I'm still passionate about it. And 
and, and for me, I will quickly know. It's very easy for me to know when I should be doing something else because the box office won't be busy. And I will just be standing there alone on stage. You know, and when you're telling Ooh, jokes um, to yourself in an empty it, theater, um, that that's the time to reflect mm, and go, ooh, career change. <laughs> yeah, so... For me, it's a case of um, I'm never the funniest person around, not by a long shot. But I like to talk about what's going on in my life. And that is where people identify mm. with, you know. I'm, I'm, always, I'm always on about the fact that when you're standing on that stage, um, you know, you shouldn't be, you know, the stuff that you talk about, people should be able to connect with it. They should be able to be going through with what you are going through. Because last night, and I haven't even taken this to stage yet, but I've lived with this for a long time, because, for example, and I thought, maybe I should talk about it, because I'm, I'm born, I'm on the 4th of December, mm. and that makes me a saggy. And people who are, who are born that time of the year, we don't talk about it, but it's a thing we got to live with. We are perfect. Mm. And it's just... It's <laughs> you a, it's are a, perfect. A, No, we are perfect. It's a, and the December babies who are listening to me will, will message you and tell you that that's the truth. Because um, people just look at us as, oh, we're outgoing and we're loud and we like to be the center of attraction. And the reason we talk a lot when we're out um, and we kind of end up hosting conversations is because we, are know, we know that we are the perfect individuals who have to be in that group to bring the whole evening together. Because we can quickly pick up... I don't know if you've got friends like this where uh, you, they're talking and you can in your head you're going you haven't read the room you are so uh, offside your <laughs> topics are weird your ta your opinions no but the d december people the people uh, born late november december early jan we've got a great sense yeah, of the like room sparkle. we want no we we just it's there it's there it's god I given it's liberals that does that you know people like me born in october but okay i get no. you no <laughs> oh are you libra oh yes my husband is libra i just want to hug you right now because you people have so many issues. You <laughs> people can't. The what? Librans have to live with honesty and truth. And integrity and balance no, and all of that it. that is so 1986. <laughs> no. <laughs> your honesty and your truth and your integrity, that's between you and your creator. And you have to find another way oh, to yeah, express love. that. You can't just, because Librans want to confront people and say, do you know, I'm very uncomfortable right now. And I can tell you what makes me uncomfortable yes, and just about stop it you. Now. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That is not going to solve the problems <laughs> in the world. The problems in the world exist because of Librans, because you're like unborst in boss and you want to say what you think. Now, us Sagis, uh, we, because we're perfect, yeah. we spend a lot of time with ourselves <laughs> as well and we go into that bathroom where the grey mm -hmm. towels are because yeah. when, you, when you're in a relationship and you're perfect, you realize soon <laughs> that you have to bite your bottom lip because people don't like to hear that, <laughs> that, that they are wrong and you bite your bottom lip but I go into quiet spaces in the house because my partner's Libran and I go with so much embarrassment for them because at some point that person is going to realize that they were wrong uh -huh. and that you were right Your and librans, on librans <laughs> take very long to say i was wrong Your, because I, most like of them are very they're they quite intelligent and they're, they're intellectual so they take very long whereas us as sages, although we're perfect, we have a lot of humility <laughs> as well. We immediately go, babe, you know what? I was actually wrong on Thursday uh, night. That was a tip. That's no, no, not Libra. So that's going to take you weeks, <laughs> if not months. Whereas us, we quietly realize we were right with that argument in the kitchen now. Uh, we were right. We also don't like to argue a lot the yeah. older we get because life is short. But we go, we were right. And we're just going to wait for the other people in the house to come around to the fact mm -hmm. that we're right. And we're embarrassed for them <laughs> because we go, you have two degrees. <laughs> But and still, stop. you couldn't follow the logic of that whole argument. And we so, believe we are right. Yes. And so that is stuff that you live with. And those are the kinds of things yeah. I take to stage as well. Because I'm, I know I'm, I cannot be the only perfect person, uh -huh. you know, existing in Cape Town. There are other people in the audience like me as well. And we need to give in for that. Well, and then we have other shortcomings. Because in every relationship, I talk about this in the show, in every marriage, mm. in every relationship, there's always one partner who's hotter -er than the other partner. Uh -huh. And you've got to know that. Now, I'm not the hot one oh, in our relationship. No, 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 no. <laughs> now you can just imagine. You think I am. You can just imagine what Anwar looks like. So you realize who you are in the relationship. And that's the way the creator has put us together. There's one person who's hot and then there's the other person that's with the money. <laughs> and so oh, you know, the you know there's hotter and then there's the one with the money. So you must know exactly who you are. So 
I talk about these things and I think it's stuff that we all live through. Uh. And I love the fact that, you know, although the world is at such a hectic place at the moment, there is still this need where we find, and South Africans are accustomed to this because we live through the craziest of times all the time. So we do find the reason and we must make the time just to exhale and, and, and just to laugh. I mean, I see it with South Africans with our memes. We take the most hectic of situations. And laugh about it. And we laugh about yeah. it. So and it's, it's our form of survival. Yes. So mark the top three sellers in the past few hours. Yes. Clip drift, coke <laughs> and toilet paper. Is that not but you're making that up. No, I'm not. No, Seriously, you are no, no. Top story. No, you are making that I up. I am not. Like Suwala, Clip as they drift. say. Clip coke drift, coke, and, and toilet, toilet paper. paper. Top three sellers the past few hours. I'm only sitting here because I feel judged. <laughs> <laughs> I feel judged. There's a heat <laughs> running through my body now. Because, you know, those three things go together. Is it not? <laughs> Those three <laughs> things go together. Oh my word! I Top three feel like sellers. I'm part of a community. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I mean, I'm personally not a clip drift drinker, but I uh, get it. But I understand <laughs> how it got there. Clip drift, coke. And toilet paper. I mean, those are the three items you go for even before your table <laughs> orders go off. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I mean, I, you know, I want to continue the conversation, but Joe is telling me time to wrap up. Okay, Mark Lottery, it it's been fantastic having you in studio. Great fun. I must come see the show. Wonderful. So just tell us, remind us, time, date, and it's where. It's on now at the Baxter Theatre. It's the last opportunity to see it. We've already had two liquor full houses. The tickets are available via web tickets so you can buy them there are certain pick and pay stores that also have a web uh -huh. tickets outlet and we run until the 6th of january and now you're going oh nee, is nog lang ons het nog tyd. Uh, 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 that's an uh, old uh. south african <laughs> saying that makes no sense please jylle het die tyd die. buy the tickets now because they are selling already well in advance we're on until the 6th of january so you, your life now is in this order you get your clip drift your coke <laughs> your toilet paper and tickets to the mark lottering show there we go thank you mark lottering